in this media we are going to learn about what are the causes of loss of vacuum in freshwater generator and we are also going to see the leak test that how do we carry out the leak test of freshwater generator okay considering that you know uh, there is a prerequisite about the freshwater generator its function and all we are going on to this video okay now uh, what are the causes there can be n number of causes i have even uh, matlab, uh, you can say that uh, sub points many points i have considered all those i have tried to consider but there can be a few things which i may have missed you can do comment now failure of ejector pump failure of ejector nozzle that is it can be either falling or erosion okay there are you know that because of the turbulences and the pockets that is created we have erosion or pittings okay malfunction of check valve at ejector nozzle that that can be a malfunctioning a defective vacuum breaker any air leakage into the system at joints ejector pump filter got choked ejector pump not creating pressure overboard valve not fully open this is the main uh, thing which i'll consider sometimes we tend to forget it because all the things um, are there we are doing at the top uh, this may be at the your bottom platform this valve you may forget it okay ejector nozzle choke that was uh, all those things were regarding ejector now this is regarding ejector ejector nozzle worn out leading to increase in diameter of nozzle we have vacuum brake valve leaking and then we have mechanical seal of distillate pump leaking then we can have tank filling valve closed extra nice matter in nozzle so we can have some foreign deposits or foreign particle that can be there in the uh, shell gasket is leaking this is an obvious region if the gasket will leak there will not be any that will uh, fail in the vacuum salinometer three way valve leaking okay there is a three way valve in the salinometer that can be leaking the swing check valve on the suction line of the distillate pump choked too high formation of non condensable gases due to high temperature of water so if see uh, there is a condensation that is going on you know uh, that we are boil the water is boiling at a reduced temperature in the uh, evaporator now with the demister there is a condensation of the gases the steam that is taking place okay so there are condensates which are depositing now these condensates can be some foreign particle or basically in major quantity it is salt okay we, which we call it as brine here so that is depositing so if too many condensate is depositing too high formation of non condensable gases due to high temperature of water because the water temperature can be this was also a question that you can comment in the comment section that what will happen if the sea water temperature is more and what will happen if the sea water temperature is less does the sea water temperature affect the uh, fresh water production that how uh, how much ton of water we are producing every day how it is related to the temperature means outside temperature of the sea water you take a water here maybe in uh, uh, in the indian ocean or you take a water in black sea sea of azov ukraine abhi war chal raha hai so what will how the uh, impact how it will the water temperature will impact the fresh water production okay please do comment in the video now we have leak test that was the major question that i wanted to cover see it's simple the leak test is very simple we close the outlet of the distillate pump vacuum breaker valve bottom blow off valve and feed water valve so we are closing all these valve outlet of distillate pump vacuum breaker valve bottom blow off valve and feed water valve so you close all these valves because since you are taking the leak test na so it cannot pass somewhere around okay so we are closing all the valves inject air into the evaporator shell obviously how you are going to carry out the leak test water will not be through air we are carrying out okay so we are injecting the air into the evaporator shell keep the shell pressed up to about one bar gauge okay we are keeping it to the pressed up till we see the reading and that's it should be one bar now simple as all funda we are doing here sprinkle soap solution on the jointing whatever jointing we have here you saw na the gasket is leaking okay uh 
vacuum brake uh, valve leaking filling valve closed uh, shell, shell gasket is leaking this was the reason because of the vacuum is not developing so same way so uh, at the joints packings and suspected area of the shell we put this soap solution and you detect the leak so it is simple close the valve inject the air keep bring it to the one bar pressure and then you uh, sprinkle the soap solution so i hope the leak test is also clear for you okay thank you so much